Thank you. Your applause is deserved. <laughs> so, the first thing most people notice when they meet me is my rugged good looks and raw animal sexuality. <laughs> The second thing they notice is that I'm a compulsive liar. <laughs> now this may shock and potentially even alarm some of you to hear, but back in high school I wasn't actually that popular with the girls. Now, to be fair, I wasn't very popular with guys either, but I was less interested in seeing them naked so it didn't bother me. <laughs> it, it did reach the point though uh, back then where I'd, I'd gone so long without a girlfriend that my mother actually took me aside one day and said, Stephen, your father and I just want you to know that if you are gay, we're completely okay with that, and we support you 100%, which, you know, was a very supportive and caring, loving thing for her to say. Of course, then I had to explain that, no, I'm not actually gay, I just know the names, birthdays, and complete family tree of every character in the Star Wars universe. <laughs> Which, as far as my chances with the opposite sex go, probably hurt me worse than actually being gay would have. Uh, shouldn't be funny. Shouldn't be. Speaking of gay people, though, uh, I don't know if you would have seen this in the news, but there's all these, like, crackpot preachers over in the States who, anytime there's a natural disaster, like an earthquake or a flood, they try and blame it on gay people. They, they say it's like punishment from God for their sins, right? Now... Correct me if I'm wrong, but doesn't that sound like a really powerful ability to have? <laughs> you would think that if being gay could actually cause earthquakes and floods, we'd see a lot more gay supervillains. <laughs> I demand $100 million by this time tomorrow, or so help me I will suck dick until this whole city's underwater! <laughs> Conservatory for this? Now, some people, uh, yes, laugh because this next bit's hilarious. Some people, cut themselves. some people cut themselves because they're depressed. I told you, laugh to laugh a minute. Some people cut themselves because they're depressed or seeking attention. I cut myself because. Juggling knives is much harder than I thought it would be. <laughs> YouTube videos made it look so simple. When I die, I want my tombstone to read, Here lies Stephen, died of a broken heart. Because it sounds much more romantic and poetic than, Here lies Stephen, he ate so much bacon that his heart literally killed him. In <laughs> what will have actually happened. <laughs> I'm getting older though, I, I'm about to turn 30, and I, I know I don't necessarily look it, but that's the funny thing about being Chinese, is we tend to do all of our aging in a single day. <laughs> <laughs> you, look, you look about 14 years old until you're 60, and then you just look 130. <laughs> It, it, it's a necessary genetic evolution for us, though, because in China, once you start to look too old, you can no longer find work in any of the good sweatshops. <laughs> I'm sorry, Lee, but building iPads is a young man's game. You're pushing 12. <laughs> it's time to think about retirement. <laughs> Thank you. Ah. It's great, because the joke is that my people's children work themselves to death for years. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy Angry Birds! <laughs> 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 now, do, do we have a lot of heavy 
Facebook users in here? Because I, I, I use it all the time. I hate Facebook, but I, I do use it all the time because otherwise I'd have no idea how much better all my friends do compared to me. <laughs> yeah, oh, you're, you're having a kid and you and your wife just bought a house. That's, that's so great. I'm so happy for you. Me? me? Yeah, I'm, I'm doing great as well. I found a dollar stuck to a piece of gum in the street the other day, so I decided to treat myself to the expensive brand of instant noodles. <laughs> no more Maggie for me. <laughs> One thing I hate about Facebook, though, is uh, vague booking. And for those of you who haven't heard of it, vague booking is this thing where someone will post a vague or cryptic message in the hopes of getting attention. So it'll be things like, uh, I never thought I'd feel this way, or you just can't trust people, you know, that sort of crap. What they're hoping is that somebody else will go, oh no, what happened? And then that'll give them an excuse to tell a story that no one else wanted to fucking hear in the first place. <laughs> and so what, what I started to do is I started replying to these messages with equally vague and cryptic comments, like we're spies swapping code phrases. People are never who they say they are. The rooster crows at dawn. <laughs> Now, if one of my friends ever suddenly assassinates the Prime Minister, I'll know that I either got lucky and stumbled across their code phrase, or else they just had to listen to him talk about how great negative gear he is again. <laughs> <laughs> that, that actually is for me, it for me now, so thank you everyone. Yeah!